Okay, so now if you're here, you chose pH as your variable, and we just want to note that the original pH of the 3% H2O2 was 4. The pH that we're going to use next is a 2. I put some acetic acid in here um, to allow it to bring down the uh, pH. This is 50 ml of that solution. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. I'm going to put my stir bar in, and like every, everything else, I'm going to turn it up to 5. I'm going to take the temperature, just so that we know that everything is pretty consistent. 20.3, like the baseline. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 2 mLs of uh, my catalase. I'm going to put it in, make sure my stopper is closed here so I can collect the pressure. Press collect. 200 seconds, we'll see what happens to the rate of reaction. Make sure this is secure. We don't want any of that pressure leaving. And collect. Okay, now that we've collected for 200 seconds, we're going to go ahead and turn this off and we're going to move to a different pH. If you're watching this portion of the video, you chose pH as your experimental group. So we are going to compare the pH at a lower end and a higher end, and this is your results for pH 2. First thing we're going to do is select the data we want from 40 seconds to 200. Choose the graphing tool. Apply the fit curve. It's going to default to linear. We're going to hit apply and it will give us data here on the side. The data that we're looking for is the M, which is the slope of the line. And this will allow us to uh, do a comparison between the pH 2, the baseline pH, and pH 11 look at the slope and see which one had a faster rate of reaction. Okay, now we're gonna use pH 11. We took the hydrogen peroxide and made it 11 pH or pH 11. We added some sodium hydroxide, 0.5 molar, about four milliliters to get it to that pH. The one thing that you need to note is that we did take the temperature last time. I don't think I said that. We're gonna put this 50 mLs in here, okay? And we're going to take the temperature. Temperature last time was 20.3. Okay. Let's turn it on here. Five, same setting. Mix it up a little bit. Now take the temperature. And again, we're at 20.3. Okay. Have everything set up. 200 seconds on my graphical vernier graphical analysis. 2 mLs of the catalase, the original catalase, the same one that I used in every other experiment. I'm going to put this in, put the top on, make sure we collect all the pressure, press collect, and go for 200 seconds. Make sure the pressure is good before we get it going, and collect. Okay, now that we're done with that 200 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure here. Let it out. We're gonna clean up. We're gonna take a look at the data. Now that we looked at pH 2 and pH for the baseline, we're gonna look at pH 11. 
we're going to look at the rate of reaction. So the first thing we're going to do is select from 40 to 200 for our data set. Hit Graph Tools. Apply Fit Curve. And it defaults to linear again. We hit Apply. And our data shows up here on the right hand side. Again, the data that we're looking for is the M, which is the slope. We're going to take that slope and compare it to that of the pH 2, the baseline pH, and see which one had a faster rate of reaction.